Resident Evil 8 stands out to me for a lot of reasons. For one, I got into the franchise because of 7, and both 7 and 8 came out at important times in my life. I've spoken before about how I prefer the first person perspective because of the added tension and lacking 360 awareness. But one of the biggest reasons I like RE8 is because of the guns. Now, while the game definitely features conventionally common guns like the oversaturated 1911, it also features some of the most unique guns I've ever seen in a game. Guns that I haven't seen anywhere else. And there's no better example of this than the Lemmy. The Lemmy is the first weapon Ethan gets his hands on, excluding the kitchen knife. It's not great. On standard difficulty, this pistol is passable at best, but on anything higher, the Lemmy leaves a lot to be desired. While its upgraded fire rate, stability, and capacity are great, what truly holds the Lemmy down is a serious lack of damage. But even when you upgrade to the Halo CE Magnum disguised as a 1911, Ethan will always draw this weapon in cutscenes. Now while the Lemmy may suck, it still serves its place in the game sandbox. RE8 has a level up sandbox in which you get better at the game by acquiring better versions of previously owned weapons. You level up with every new gun that replaces the old one. The Lemmy is the start the bottom of the hierarchy of RE8's level up sandbox. However, the Lemmy plays a very different role in the game Shadow of Rose DLC. Here we see a single purpose sandbox where each element plays a specific role and there is nothing else like it. The Lemmy is the mid-range old reliable that gets enough ammo to consistently pepper enemies. The AT-97 is a close-range, high-damage power weapon. Rose's powers act very similarly to stasis and dead space, and pipe bombs clear crowds. Every weapon excels in its given situation, and because of that, the Lemmy really gets to shine in this DLC. It's Two, one, go! The CZ Rami is the Czech pocket pistol that inspired the Lemmy. It's been in use with the Czech police since 2004, and has had some limited usage within the concealed carry crowd. The biggest differences in the pistol in the game to the real life counterpart really being the removal of the beaver tail and the changes to the hammer. The compensator in game is also fictional, and extended magazines for this gun should hold 14 rounds instead of the in-game 16. In regards to if the CZ Rami is a good gun IRL, I'm not a fan. While CZ makes god-tier weapons in regards to cost, reliability, and versatility, the Rami has too many things wrong with it as a pocket pistol. The biggest problem for me is the hammer. Double action pistols with exposed hammers have a bad habit of getting snagged on your shirt when you go to draw it from the concealed carry position. This fraction of a second that it takes to untangle your shirt from the hammer could be the difference between life and death. In regards to whether or not the Lemmy would be a practical choice for Ethan on his adventure, I would again have to advise against it. While 9mm has been shown to be capable of doing serious damage to BOWs with the right load, there is no reason not to choose a more comfortable, higher capacity handgun. Concealed carry is most practical when you want to avoid being shot at and get a close range element of surprise advantage. For enemies that don't use guns and attack you on sight, you lose nothing by open carry. The CZ P07, the CZ P10F would be a superior choice to the Lemmy in every single way. The Lemmy plays a big role for being based off of such a niche gun like the Rami. While I've been vocal, about the discrepancies between the two pistols and have talked about the lack of need for a concealed carry weapon in this scenario, I am ultimately happy Capcom featured a concealed carry weapon, as these kind of pistols are seriously underrepresented in games. The fact that it's also a super unique CZ pistol is just a really cool bonus. 
Anyways, this has been Buskin. Over and out. This is Solid Snake. Hey, subscribe to Pliskin Boy. God damn it. You heard him. <laughs>